What's up, mother foxers? Welcome back to my dopey fox body channel, where it's built, not bought. Well, you buy parts. Nah, it's still built. <laughs> anyway, um, where I left off the last time, the strut tower, when I painted it. Let's take a look. All right, this video ain't about the strut tower, but I just wanted to show you real quick. That blending worked. You see the little, little pencil line across there? been doing some wet sanding on it and almost got it off there and a line right down here and I'm not really too worried about that but of course the little suggestions from my friend Kevin were obviously they worked got just to do a little bit more here and then we'll polish it up and this will be done and ready to go so there you go man I learned how to blend of course it's black so it's not a big deal <laughs> all right so what this video is about is the 306 this is the 306 for ginger this engine is ready to go in that car to be started up it could have been it could have been done a while ago but i got to do the engine bay to that car um we got plans for this now um it's already been uh it's already been called for by somebody and i'll tell you what's going on this engine was redone to a 306 by the same people that did my 306 for black sunshine that screwed it up uh, the carnage you've seen on that with the uh, my previous channel I had I had videos where we opened it up and found out that they didn't clean the inside of that guys and it was just the there's grooves in the bearings they just they just totally screwed it up and we we're gonna take this apart and look at it make sure everything was fine with it before we did anything with it but Change of plans. I bought the 351 over there in the corner. <laughs> it covered up there. So I'm going to reveal to you now what I'm going to do with the 351 and tell you what's going on with this. So let's go see. There you go, guys. We got the crank. There it is in all its glory. So now let's explain what we're going to do here. So, yes, I did watch Neo Mustang's video on the whole 351 junkyard thing. And he was showing you prices. And around here, guys, we just don't have junkyards like that. It's Michigan. They just don't. It's more LKQ kind of stuff. So I was like, yeah, right. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and found a whole bunch of cheap ones there. I went to this guy's house, saw that 351 running in a truck. And the, problem, the only problem it had was that it had uh, antifreeze coming out the tailpipe, which is usually a head gasket. Hopefully I didn't buy junk. I doubt it, but we'll see. So, if you guys remember the little rip we did with my buddy Justin. Justin has the 03 Terminator, he's got the 95 Cobra, they're both convertibles, he's got the 89 yellow car with the V1, 185 AFR heads and the B41 cam in it, and it is a monster, and he's, it's on E, it's on E, so, and not empty, we're meaning 885. So, after that video, toward the, after we shot that, we were driving along and all of a sudden, he said, my oil pressure's, I don't have no oil pressure. So I'm looking behind us, I'm like, I see no smoke, I hear no clanging or anything. I said, I said, and he goes, it must be the sensor, sending unit, you know. So we ended up uh, driving it back home. So he bought a new sending unit, still no oil pressure. He pulls his distributor, he found a piece of a shaft about this big. The other piece was gone. Toward the end of it was twisted, and I said automatically, dude, you, you twizzlered that shaft. <sighs> he opened it up, found it, and it looked like a piece of licorice in the pan and a couple of more pieces. So, he thinks it might be salvaged. I don't know. He's in the process of doing that right now, but he also wants to start another build. And he asked me what I was doing with this. And I'm like, man, I got too much money wrapped up in this thing. And so the more I thought about it, uh, 
he sold me some rims for this car. Um, if you think about it, you know what they are. But I'm not showing you. <laughs> um, so the more I thought about it, I was like, okay. He says he just wants the block. He just wants the block. That's it. So that means this. The three bars, they're going to big dogs. When I get my heads back for this car, my AFR is from big dogs. So the rumor is, we'll get to that later. <laughs> um, but I talked to Tony big dogs. We got plans for these. I also talked to Ford Blue Gauge. We got something else I want to talk to Tony about to see if it's doable. Those are going on the 351. Intake, I'm going to buy from Big Dogs. It's going to have like a sniper type uh, uh, fuel injection on it. And it's going to one of Big Dogs cams. They make their own cams. Well, they have them made, I guess. But that's what's happening to that engine over there. Now, again, back with the whole Neo thing. He said to use the 351 rods the 351 pistons are pretty much garbage yeah, he says and then uh, use Fox pistons so I was gonna use the 306 pistons because I'm gonna bore it 30 over 393 now um, and put it in, in and put the 306 pistons I got for this car that they put this engine build for and get some rings and put them in well since he wants that engine guess what it's got new pistons in it with rings there you go that's what we're going to do with those um, then I have a crank for sale a cam for sale which is a, a F cam um, I don't think you can use the same water pump and the same timing cover for those I don't think you can if you if I can I will I don't know I, that's the one thing I don't know about 351s and 302s the same thing dampeners brand new I can't use that I can't use that because it's a 28 ounce balance I believe and uh yeah so uh lifters i can use timing chain i believe i can use i can't use the brand new uh push rods i don't think they're the same length at all so there you go guys 393 is going in ginger boom um th i've heard that engine had work done but we don't know until we open it up obviously to see if it's been bored it's been bored to 30, man. Maybe we can just get a hone and throw some bearings in it. Bearings are over there. And get everything put together. So, but my first priority is to get this apart for Justin. Then this. And people want to know something. Um, <laughs> I will just, you know, say this for now. Um... As we were, as I was recording this, um, well, let me just show you. Yeah. <laughs> Only got one package, though. So join my silly ass, and we'll take this apart. You saw me put it together if you watch the other channel. Now we're going to, you can watch me take it apart. It's not too hard, so... Wasted these too. Hey. Tussin would probably use those again. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Um, we got the timing chain off. Of course, the heads are sitting right. Look at them red, beautiful things. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> timing chain's off. Uh, time to pull the cam out. Yeah, buddy. Pull the shaft right out of it and. Uh, should be good and then we'll start pulling this stuff off start pulling the pistons out man hell yeah all right peeps there it is it's all disassembled cranks out everything i got it bagged up so i didn't figure it was a big deal that i needed to show you that that's not really what this video is about <laughs> so 
it was about the 351 I'm telling you what I was gonna do so there's all the pistons and rods but now I got a good crank which is I got a good crank yeah that's funny right there and I got another crank <laughs> from this car that was a brand new one but like I said the bear the, the journals on it got grooved out because of the thing they're not that bad so it's salvageable it can be turned um so and then I got all the pistons from that I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this shit <laughs> to be honest with you I have no idea anybody want some of this stuff for blue gauge <laughs> But, uh, anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Yeah, it's not exciting. But at least I told you what's going on with 351. At least I told you. 393, stroker. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, like, share, subscribe. I don't say that very often. I'm not that kind of guy. But, you know, if you know anybody out there that might want to see some dumbass do a Fox Body channel, tell them about me. Later. All right, here we go. We dropped it off at Justin's house. There's the block, guys. Um, what, you were saying you're going to have to notch these out, right? That is correct. Because <laughs> <laughs> all that trouble I went through when I notched my 347 out, he, uh, with the chaos that ensued from the Twizzler. <laughs> so this is what happens when the oil pump fails. Yeah. Luckily, it didn't happen on the dyno. Yeah. That would have been bad. <laughs> So he looked in there and he doesn't have uh, clearance for the bolts and they're not hitting anything, but they do make people kind of nervous. So and there's probably roughly 30 thousandths clearance. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember ever doing it. And I, when I pulled the pan down, I was like, oh, well, it made it 30,000 miles. And how many miles you got on this car now? 30 to 35. With that setup. Yep. <laughs> and they didn't hit nothing yet, but. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, guys, like I was saying, we were saying earlier, he put E85 on here, so he's got new aftermarket fuel rails and stuff in that. That Victor EFI intake, which probably gave you, what, 0.5 horsepower, you yeah, think? That, it just looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're realists here. We don't just inflate numbers yeah. out of our ass. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna build up that other engine and I don't know, sit it on a shelf for a while probably. So I built it back in 2010, and I knew I had a bad motor mount. Well, yeah, she's pretty ripped, so solid are going into it. New <laughs> mine, headers. Mine looked like that when I put, took them off. <laughs> They're probably worse than that. I was like but, 28 when I built this on a budget, so I did half-ass some stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. You know, well, now he's got another block to build another engine and. And this thing over here was running. We got the Terminator X and it is working. Yeah, she's He's up got, and running on the yeah. base tune, uh, ready for the dyno. And then it's gonna be, uh, it's got a date to be uh, tuned. September 2nd. Yep. So two cars kind of down, but this oh, one. Oh, then, then the Whipple's on its way. Yeah, the Whipple's on its way for this guy. And uh, he got some new jewelry on the, on the feet there. All right, and as if, you know, his troubles he's having with this isn't enough, and he's got that. He, he can't stop there. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably a good thing the oil pump failed before this. <laughs> it probably <laughs> is, man. So, but, as the first go, the complete kit. So, yeah, nitrous and a Vortec. <laughs> yep, so it's going to have to go back to the tuner. Then with that new block, I honestly don't know the future of the car this year, but yeah. we shall see. Yep.